Hi guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly update or weekly tip, I guess is what I should say. <laughs> um, what is it that I say? There we go, weekly tip. All right, so today's tip is actually about some new change that just happened to KDB Command yesterday, actually. So your contact section is going to have a, a little bit of a different interface, uh, not too, too much, but then you're going to see a little bit of a different item over on your smart plans. So if you click on your contacts now, all right, if you notice, everything looks pretty much the exact same, all right? That's the good part on here. But once you actually click into a contact, so I'll click into like this contact on here, for instance, all right, we're going to notice it's a little bit different on here, all right? So the top has changed a little bit. It used to obviously have like their name and then their headshot right below there, all right? And then it would have the email address and everything. But now, as you can see, we can go through, we can do the lead source, owner, stage, all right? Some of the same information that we've always had on here. And then, of course, if we go into Add Inside a Neighborhood now, so I'll go ahead and allow this real quick. All right, so I'm going to type inside one for a quick second. Add that in. Perfect. So if you notice, then all of a sudden now this will pop up on here for our neighborhood. So this is a little bit different. But then the cool part about it is it'll now give you suggested neighborhoods down here, too, that you can just click on to add in immediately, and then it'll automatically add them over. Now, of course, you can always use the find on map option to go through and search for them too, but this will help out to find additional neighborhoods around that area that they suggest. All right, so that's all new information on there. And then, of course, once again, you'll be able to see the additional contact info, the about info on here. So if some of this information is missing right now, don't worry about it. It should be popping back up very, very soon on here. All right, but then at the very top up here, you'll see there's now an add to smart plan option. And then once again, you can also see your smart plans up here too to see if there are any. And of course, you can add them over here as well. All right, and then you'll have the edit option and the archive option too. Now, if you click on add to smart plan on here, there are now five different smart plans that you can actually utilize. So they did specify in the KDB Command Facebook group that every two weeks they're coming out with two new smart plans until Mega Camp, and then they're releasing a bunch of them. All right, so how much is a bunch? We'll find out at Mega Camp, obviously. All right, but previously you just had the monthly neighborhood nurture one. Then you had the bi-weekly neighborhood nurture and the quarterly call plan. And now you have the long-term nurture and the mid-term nurture. All right, so you can actually click on the add to smart plan option for any of these to add them over immediately as long as you happen to have some neighborhoods added inside here. And then it'll add them right away. All right, so I just want to give you a heads up on that. It's that simple to go through and access the smart plans and add them in immediately for these contacts and to view the new back end for some of these contacts too. So there you go. So there's your MyKW tip for the day.